I'm about to show you the DM1360 vacuum or dust extractor from Florex. We've been passionate about dust extraction for a long time and we've recently released the DM1360 as a single motor vacuum as we'll see shortly. Uh, we also have the dual motor in the same format. We also have long pack versions in two motor and three motor. So I'm just going to show you quickly the unboxing of this machine and uh, a few features about it and a couple of points on maintenance on your, just to uh, get us started when you first purchase your uh, DM 1360 or 2660. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. So inside the box, there should be a hose and a vacuum, manual, uh, and that's about it. So we have a 50 millimeter hose with the same end, both ends. the vacuum. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very compact little unit. Uh, this particular one is the 1360. It's a single motor and it also has filter cleaning. So all the DM range has filter cleaning system in it, which we'll go over that very shortly on how that works, uh, just to help you get going. Okay, so the manual strapped on the side here, uh, and we have here the on-off switch for the motor. Very simple toggle switch. There's no electronics in this machine, um, especially done like that to eliminate problems. Uh, and in the middle here we have the filter cleaning switch. We'll go that shortly, and also the power light to indicate this power to the machine. Okay, so without further ado, let's have a look inside. So firstly. Normal operation <coughs> to empty the bin. Three catches there, and you lift off the uh, the head as you can see here, and you can wheel that away and empty the bin. Very sturdy frame, and also got handles on the handles on the side of the machine, so you can effectively empty it. Okay, so let's put that back on. On the back here, it's a very handy uh, cable holder on the back. Okay, so let's have a look inside this machine to get an understanding of how it works so we can get the most out of it. So let's undo these four catches here. We'll lift the head off. See under here there is a filter cleaning mechanism. We'll go over that shortly and how to service that. And then first up we have the filter itself. So as you can see a very large spun polyester filter. <clears throat> then we have the filter protection ring. So this prevents dust coming in the inlet here and hitting the filter directly. Okay, so the next subject we're gonna look at is the subject of filter cleaning. Very important in our industry, obviously. Um, but before we have a look at how this system works, let's look at a few things that we don't do. So number one, we do not blow out the filter with a compressed air gun. While it cleans the filter very well, it actually damages media, uh, the filter paper, if you like. This uh, filter is M class, and the same goes with any class of vacuum. As soon as you hit it with compressed air, the quality and the efficiency of your filter is compromised immediately. So do not blow it out with compressed air, number one. Number two, do not bash it on the ground to clean it. The reason is the end cap here is not designed to be bashed and it will end up breaking away and damaging the media, media as well. And once again, the filter, while it may be M class or H class rated, as soon as there's a tear, gap, or a fracture in the media or the end cap here, obviously that is no longer, the uh, rating is no longer relevant. So look after your filter. So you might ask, well, how am I supposed to clean the filter then? Let's have a look at how this system works. 
field cartridge with pleats on the inside and underneath the head here we have the filter cleaning mechanism so simply two fingers that rotate and hit the insides of the pleats. So that's it on there and you see it rotating. That's a normal speed there. So let's fit the head back on again. Okay, so the head is now fitted back on. Normal operation, we would never undo these catches. Good rule of thumb, if you have to undo these catches here, it's meaning there's something wrong with the system. So, if you wanted to give the machine a deep clean, switch the motor off, and then turn the filter cleaning system on. Okay, so 20 seconds really is all that's needed to give that filter a good clean. Okay, so if you're wanting to give it a really deep clean, just leave it on during your break, so 10 minutes. Um, and the other question we have is, do I leave this on while in operation or not? Well, that's an interesting question. There's nothing wrong with leaving it on. The performance or the advantage by leaving it on while you're using the machine, fairly minimal, but it does make a little difference. And but the main thing is, with the motor switched off, run it for at least 20 seconds or a minute even, uh, and then switch it off and you should see a filter that's relatively clean, may be a little bit of dust across the bottom as well. Uh, but mostly the pleats should be fairly clean. So if your filter is not cleaning, let's look at a couple of things that we can do to check the system. So firstly, you should hear this noise. Nice, healthy, clicking of the fingers underneath. If you can't hear that, have a look onto the head and check the two fingers to make sure they're in good condition. One thing to remember is those fingers are very, very cheap and easy to replace. Very simple on the field even. And it comes in a little kit, just like this. So we have two spring steel plates and two nylon fingers. Very simple to fit. As you can see, it's just got two holes, two bolts each side. So that's one easy fix, give your, give your vacuum a birthday every six months or so and fit a new kit. Um, the other thing to check is to make sure that motor is turning. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little insight into how to maintain your filters in your DM2660 and DM1360 vacuums. Thanks for watching.